Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. Today is finally the day. I was just smiling watching this just now because I'm just so excited right now. The Corvette ZR1 is finally coming out. That means that we're going to be seeing it just around the corner. They're going to be showing it off for the world to see and this is going to be the next era for the Corvette ZR1. I know when the C7 ZR1 came out, that was just the pinnacle front engine Corvette you could buy. It had 755 horsepower, a ton of aerodynamics, to, to keep the car suctioned down on the racetrack. It was incredible. And this is going to be not only the fastest Corvette, you know, accelerating down the drag strip, but also at the racetrack. So I can't wait to find out what it's going to be all about. Today in this video, we're going to break down this official teaser trailer from Chevrolet. I know for a fact they're sitting back, really enjoying this right now because, hey, they've got everyone worked up right now, excited to find out what's around the corner. The vehicle will be fully revealed revealed this summer. Anyways, let's play the video and let's pause it frame by frame to try to find out what we can learn. So right away, hope you enjoyed watching that. If you want to go to their official account to check it out, I'll have it linked on the description or in the description down below. But right away, I want to comment about the way it sounds. First off, I love how they're trying to keep it very um, cryptic, meaning you can hear it, but it's not a normal audible tone. It's probably banging off the uh, rev limiter right now, and with the turbochargers, if it has that, I think it does, many, many people do, uh, it's going to sound pretty raspy, I think. I know with the uh, Corvette Z06 I bought, and I had an amazing time getting that vehicle and shooting the covers that we shot with it, the world's first delivery at the National Corvette Museum, millions of people were, were tuning in to check out what we were doing with that uh track supercar when I got it and I can't wait to share what the ZR1 is going to be like. I've had such an amazing time and unbelievable opportunity to really get all the models up until now except for the Corvette E-Ray going from the Stingray, the Corvette uh, C8R and then to the Z06. I loved all of them and I had a lot of fun pushing them on the racetrack. So this is going to be obviously the next step for that and I'm curious to find out with data too how the laptop will be comparing against my Corvette Z06 that I tracked a lot. Anyways, going back to the video, let's pause it on the next frame. So we have a sideways silhouette. It looks like it's got the same shape altogether as the Z06 and every other mid and Corvette right now with starting down low and swooping all the way up as an angle, giving you downforce right there above the front axle with that huge front windscreen. It's pushed so far up because you're sitting right there in the middle having the mid and behind you. It's totally different than the C7 uh, front engine cars where that front windshield is pushed all the way back because there's an engine right there above those front wheels. Anyways, going all the way back, I don't think we're going to have a roost coupe by any means. I don't see that on the silhouette, but we can see more if I continue hitting play. I love how they have this uh, throwback of giving us every single model so far. Stingray, Z06, E-Ray, then ZR1. I, I just noticed that, by the way. Uh, the badge doesn't look blue. It looks purely silver to uh, tie closely in with the Corvette Z06 and the Stingray. If we look at the E-Ray, you had a lot of blue embedded in with the uh, logo to try to highlight how it's an electric vehicle. A lot of electric cars coming out, even to the Ford Lightning, I believe. You had a lot of blue with the logos and elsewhere because it tries to, uh, let's say, symbolize uh, electric or the future, right? Or having a more eco-friendly vehicle. It doesn't look like there's any blue so far on this uh, logo. I'm guessing it's all gas. Let's keep hitting play and let's pause it frame by frame right here. Now, the silhouette looks very similar to that of the Corvette 
ZR1 test cars that we've been seeing at the Nürburgring. It's got that massive rear spoiler that is uh, bigger than the Z06. And it has really interesting side end plates, which I'll pause it on those before we get closer. It looks like it still has the massive side uh, radiators for the front brake cooling and more. Also, I can see dive planes right here on the left. So the front splitter could be very similar to that of the Z06, but maybe probably more aggressive because when you have a bigger rear wing out back you're dealing with a different a load of downforce and you don't want to have one side of the vehicle getting pushed down more by the air than the other. It's got to be equal. Let's say if your front end has more downforce in the back, you're going to be lifting up the tail end, uh, reducing the rear grip of your car. If it's the opposite and you have more rear end downforce, the front end kind of lifts up. And what is that doing? It's pulling up the suspension and the entire weight transfer so that the front tires aren't as pushed down. And the harder you push a tire down, it's like a balloon, right? It's Usually it's inflated outwards, but when it's got weight pushing down on it, it's going to be widening out with the contact patch, giving you more grip on the ground. I love all this stuff. I learned so much when I went to racing school many years ago and done years of racing since. And if you want to check out some of the track videos, especially with the Corvette Z06 I used to run, check out the uh, description down below. Anyways, let's continue watching this video and uh, pause it in more, on more segments. So here's the next shot I want to pause it on. It looks like we have the same side mirrors. Hey, it's not that big of a deal. We would expect that, right? It's a Corvette off the same assembly line. It looks like we still have the floating blades in front of the side radiators on either side. Fundamentally, it's pretty similar on the corners, right? With that wide body effect on the front bumper, do you see how it curves down? And then it curves again as a double crest with a dip in the middle. That symbolizes, in my opinion, the wide body kit we have on both the E-Ray and Z06. It makes sense. This vehicle needs a wider contact patch for wider tires up front, and that means wider wheels. Going all the way down, I do want to also mention how the middle is fully blacked out. Maybe they have some trick arrow in the middle that they are trying to keep down low, or it's just the framework of the silhouette uh, you know, graphic they've created for this quick 22 second video. I am curious, what did they say? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let's continue hitting play and let's pause it on this next frame right about here. So this is an interesting shot right here. I've paused it on the side end plates and they have a weird curve to them where when you, you look at the front of it, it seems like it's connected and is completely perpendicular to the rear spoiler, right? So the spoiler, the actual flat part that's dealing with the airflow, then here's the end plate, and it's perfectly straight with it, right? But then it starts curving, curving outward. I really am curious what the functioning behind that is. Is it creating a different aerodynamic profile with the drag coefficient? I'm not sure. It, it looks like it's gonna be uh, very tall. I think if this is fully accurate with the render, that looks like a very tall end plate on the sides of that rear wing. I'm very excited to see this in person, guys. Let me know what do you think in the comment section down below all together. This is pretty cool to see, in my opinion. I can't wait to find out more details and, and maybe even ask the team what they have to say about the vehicle if that opportunity comes up. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'm very curious how lap times will be for the vehicle, also how performance will be for having the most power out of any mid-engine Corvette yet with this new platform. It means you have more weight out back, giving you more grip. So it should be uh, not quite the same as any Corvette ever before. But I want to find out from you, are you excited? Did you plan to get in this vehicle? I know many of you are probably on a wait list in some way, shape, or form, or you've been looking forward to this moment for quite a while now. Is this the end point? Is this the finale for the mid and Corvette? Will there be anything else from here on out? I don't know, but the current consensus is that this will have the most amount of power out of any Corvette yet, maybe close to 800 plus horsepower. I can't believe that. I just can't, I, I can't wait to find out. I really can't wait. I'm gonna do my best to provide you guys with the best coverage possible of the vehicle. But I just wanted to throw this quick video off for you guys to, to check out this news. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. 
And uh, please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for much more great content coming out your way. I'll see all of you in the next episode. And don't forget to hit the notification bell, the uh, all icon, to get all the notifications here on the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.